What's up, Facebook? Oh, how y'all doing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and invite some people. Lord's will, if you want me to do that. If you don't, I'm going to go ahead and make the video. Um, okay. <clears throat> Father, right now I decrease that you may increase in me. I am the out. I know not what to talk about, how to, how to, how to talk about it, or what direction to take, even speaking it. When I do this, Holy Ghost, you have your way and use me to speak about spiritual warfare and the topic topic of stubborn pursuers and their demise, according to your word, Lord God. In the powerful name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray and I thank you. <clears throat> Amen. I decrease even the more. I am the out. I know not how to even convey the message that you want me to convey. You want me to convey, Father. Lead me. Lead my words. Show me how to speak. Show me when to cut off, pinpoint, call out, rebuke, tear down, uproot, pull up, destroy, and do what you want me to do, Father, because I'm, I'm not my own, and I'm yours. I yield myself completely to you. I empty out. I know not nothing. I count it all dung that just to know the excellency of the power of your Shahamashia, I ask you, Lord, to take over. Use me as you see fit. I sit down that you rise up. That the very words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer. In Yeshua's mighty name I pray. Thank God. Amen. Now, uh, I know it's been a while since I did Facebook other than the other day, but I ain't really been doing it lately because, you know, I've been doing some research, been doing some studying, been in a lot of prayer, a lot of warfare. Um, I decrease right now, Father, as you take every bit of pride, arrogance, and anger out right now in Yeshua's mighty name. Help me to be bold as a lion and say what needs to be said without being afraid of the people. Or let me become like Saul and be working for you but fired at the same time because of fear of the people. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. Look, I'm going to tell y'all straight up. God has a way of moving people out of your life because they deny the fact that God is stopping what they are doing against you. Like, for instance, the children of Israel, they always saw Moses doing, doing the, the wonders and signs that God was using him to do. But, but because of unbelief and doubt, they died in the wilderness. Like you literally see me doing this right here. Straw. Cup. Charger. Napkin. You see all these things in your face. But because of strong delusion, deception, foolishness, arrogance, pride, witchcraft, rebellion, anger, or whatever else may be there that's halting, holding you from hearing or seeing what's visible in your eyes the first thing you do is you shift what God is showing you as if it's not even there and what God has to bring to you is good and it's perfect because every good and perfect gift from the Lord every good and perfect thing comes from the Lord now I'm flowing right now so I'm not going to be the way I used to be because I'm in another place um, so every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord from the Father of light, in whom there is no variableness, neither is there any shadow of turning in him. Okay? There's no shadow of turning. There's no variableness. There's no wishy-washy stuff going on in God. There's no, I'm your friend one day and I'm leaving you alone the next day. There's no, I'm praying for you one day and the next day I'm doing something behind your back I ain't got no business doing. There's no, I'm your friend, but I don't communicate with you. Now, there's no, I'm making pop shots, and then there's no, I'm really with, with you. Now, what I'm saying is, I'm not pinpointing nobody in particular. I'm not doing that. I'm speaking from life experiences, not nothing recent from nobody. Not nothing recent from nobody, by all means of life. Because I don't throw shade. I don't need to. I just go to show, find a tree that's hot outside and sit on the hook if it's hot. I mean, that's shade. That's the shade. I, I, you know, you want shade, I will throw shade. But I don't need to throw you no shade if I see something that you're dealing with and it's, it's involved me. The person who wants to live, who wants to breathe in God, 
and have his and, and, and have his being in God. You see, in God is light, and there's no darkness at all. So if I'm in God and God is in me, I'm asking what I will, and he shall give it unto me. I'm communicating with the Father. I'm speaking to the Father on a daily basis. I'm under a lot of pressure. So I release it to God and do what God can do by obeying God and whatever he tells me to do. Now, in the midst of this, you got people as the children of Israel was listening to the man of God. But won't take heed to what the man of God is saying because it was already in them. The fight. People fought Moses to the point that they, they died fighting. They died fighting. They died in the wilderness fighting. They don't want to be corrected. They don't want to follow suit to the leader that God has sent to them. They don't take heed to the counsel that God is giving the man of God to give to the people. Now, if the people knew so much, why didn't they bring themselves out of Egypt before Moses was told to bring them out of Egypt? Okay, we're going to do sound doctrine 101. When there's a leader that God has sent to you, just because he don't look like the normal leader that people are used to, don't mean God didn't send him to you. Because if you continue to deceive yourself to think that God is not sending people to you who have the will in their heart, the will of God, who have the mind of God, the peace of God, I feel a shift. They, they, they have the, the word of God, they have the anointing of the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, and they don't play with God, they take time to minister the needs of God. They take time to pray for the needs of God. They take time to warfare against the enemies of their calling. Against the enemies of their calling. Okay, now there's a shift that's taking place because see, people will not leave well enough alone as the children of Israel did. Now the children, the children of Israel were covered. They were covered by the man of God. The man of God covered them. Just like Samuel was to Saul. The man of God covered them. And they did not want to listen. They did not choose to take heed to the words of the Lord. They didn't want nothing to do with what Moses was telling them. Moses, we hungry. Moses, we hungry. You should have left us out there in Egypt with the, with the cucumbers and the leek and the garlic. God allowed water to come out the rock. Boom. God allowed manna to fall from heaven. Boom. God allowed quail to run through. They catch it, eat it, whatever. Boom. God allowed the Red Sea to open up and they went through. But somebody was behind them. Now, this is the topic of the message I'm talking about. The stubborn pursuers. What does the word stubborn mean? Stubborn means denying, denying, or excuse me, a form of insubordination that, or rebellion to go against what it is that's already flowing properly for the people. Now, with people, now I can see if Moses was abusing the people. I can see if Moses was really doing some stuff that God wasn't pleased with. Now, if he was, God would have cut him off long before the other stuff happened when Moses was involved with the children of Israel. But the people were being blessed by the man of God that God had placed over them as the shepherd, the leader, and the pastor of the people. Only difference is there just wasn't no building, no church to preach at. Their lifestyle was the message that they was getting every day, and the leader was was relaying it as they went, as they went. He was preaching as they went. Okay, we're going to stop playing games as if we understand what life in Christ is really all about when we really don't. When you decide to want to plot against a man of God, who truly is a man of God, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. I'm going to show you, um, no, thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm going to show you what has already happened. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Wow. I'm going to show you what has already happened. See, there's no, I'm, I'm, as, as in the words of the all-knowing, excuse me, as the all-popular the, 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 the all Daryl Glenn McCoy would say, there's no in without an out, there's no top without a bottom. Yeah. The way up is down. I'm going to speak the truth. Now, I have a, as a certain woman of God that I love, I love dearly, but I'm not going to mention her name. There are certain people in my life I love dearly, and I'm not going to mention their name. You know why? Okay, I'm going to get off that topic, and I'm going to talk about the same topic, but something different. 
There's a woman I will speak on, and I will mention her name. No, thank you. The Lord said, don't, the Lord said, don't mention her name. I ain't going to mention her name. It was a woman I was married to, and still is legally, by paper, okay? So you skeptics can get off the get off my Facebook Live with that. <gasps> Adultery. Okay, shut up. <laughs> what I'm telling you is this. When I was married, I was abused in that marriage. I was abused in that marriage. You understand? I literally got my behind whooped. Not because I'm a weak link. Not because they didn't already inbox y'all and told y'all the real reason. You understand? Not because they didn't told my mom and dad and my mom and dad conversed back to them and they didn't talk to some of y'all in y'all's inbox on Facebook. You understand? To be honest with you, <laughs> when I was abused, I stayed in prayer. I stayed in prayer. I stayed reading my Bible. I stayed asking God to deliver, to deliver, to deliver. You know, the same thing you read about David and Saul. But see, some of y'all, a lot of y'all, I'm exposing a lot of you right now because you really don't believe that Bible that you're preaching. You really don't believe the Bible that you pick up every day. You come on Facebook and post scriptures out. You don't believe nothing about that Bible. Truth be told, you might as well be worshiping the devil if you ain't already is. You probably already is worshiping the devil. Now, if I was worshiping the devil, do you think I would be praying to God and get my behind whooped? Let me, let, me, let me see the look on my face when I ask you that. Do I look like I would be praying to the most of God be able to deliver you from falling? Now, until all the stuff y'all be doing, and I'm able to keep you from falling. Yeah, whatever. Okay. You talking to Rod right now? I ain't no dummy. You understand? The power of God is able to keep you from falling. So why don't you believe that when you come against me? The power of God is able to keep you from falling. So why do I trust in the power of God? But you don't trust in him enough to keep your mouth off of me. You don't trust him enough to quit plotting against me. You, hey, boy, I feel the anger of God right now. You don't trust him enough to stop and pray righteous prayers for me. You don't stop to want to provide for the household of faith for me as God leads you. See, some of y'all ain't led by the Holy Ghost. You feel sorry, so you sow seed to me. You don't believe in God. You ain't led by the Holy Ghost because you don't have the Holy Ghost. I wouldn't be surprised if he ain't took his anointing from you. I wouldn't be surprised. Because see, he already told me. That's the word he gave me last year. He said he get ready to take the Holy And I speak prophetically even now to read to revamp that word and I feel the anointing right now as I'm ready to speak that word but he told me I, he said I'm going to take the Holy Ghost from them say they know me they are against you my son did you hear that I'm going to say it slowly so you all can hear me my father Elohim Jehovah Nisi Elijah the Lord that killeth he told me, this is, the, this is the God of David, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the same God that created heaven and earth, the Alpha and the Omega. Huh? It's the same God that was today, yesterday, and more. He told me the words last year. I made a video about what I'm doing now. He said, I'm going to take the Holy Ghost from them who say they know me but are against you right okay that ain't bible that ain't god okay okay for you diehards that really just don't believe the bible as i just said go to the old testament you can use google if you want to i don't google ain't god okay go to your bible Get your Bible app. I don't. Okay. <laughs> don't see. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm making fun of you fighters. I'm gonna fight by what I said. You wrong all day long. You wrong all day long. Like Nilly Vanilli song. You ain't real. And you finna get exposed to find out that when you that wrote the wrote, wrote the song in the first place. But you know it's true. You do. Ooh ooh ooh. Hate it for you. I'm going to be real with you. 
in the Old Testament, the same thing happened to Saul, didn't it? Didn't it? I'm still lying. You want me to get Google on you? You want me to ask the government? You want to call D-Fat right? Oh, let me go to Publix and ask Cashier. She might be a believer, or he might be a believer. No, okay. Church is tomorrow. So today's Saturday, right? Or church is today, really, because today is the Sabbath. And I'm a Sabbath keeper. Talk about who didn't keep Sabbath himself. Tomorrow, y'all going to go to service. Some of y'all to service today. But when you don't believe what I'm telling you, you ain't going to believe what they're telling you because you just want to fight. You just want to start an argument. You don't care nothing about what, what I'm saying. If that ain't true, go to service and ask your leaders and ask them what in the Old Testament Saul. Saul kept coming against David left and right because of jealous. Okay, you still don't believe me. Let's go backwards. Let's go further back. Moses. Moses. Pharaoh. Now here he is Moses bringing the children of Israel out of Egypt. And them boogers still complaining after God done fought left and right. After God done wrought miracle, top of miracle, top of miracle, he brought judgment to the boogers that wanted them dead. They still had the audacity, the cojones to want to keep fighting the man of God as if God ain't did nothing yet. When y'all going to wake up and realize God is on my side? Look, <laughs> look, I'm exposing a little something. People say I talk about negative stuff all the time. Or is it I'm telling the truth that you don't want to hear about? Which is negative to you. Because you're already negative. I'm positive. Positive means progress. Forwardness, right? So if I'm positive and forward, now is it, um, God's blessing, I see it open on Facebook. All the stuff I've been showing y'all. You still don't believe me, do you? You still don't. The last two weeks, God been blessing me like crazy. Father, can I release what I have today to let them know? I mean, it's a testimony. Is it? I mean, or is it time to release it? Or should I not say nothing at all? Let me know, Father. Okay, Lord. I got a job now, but I can get it done. Well, I'll take that back. <laughs> I had two jobs in the last week. Two jobs, you understand? And two, two folk that I understand is, I know who the devil is. I know who God is. I don't know God is coming in. Was ever created. You looking right now? Which means it causes it to be short right now. I don't think you understand who I am, what I'm capable of doing. But if you keep fighting me, hear me good now. Hear me real good. If you're fighting. Yeah, if it if, if, if that, because, yeah. Okay, now. It's moving slow, because, you know. Yeah, it's moving slow. If y'all don't get, get this message, it's clean, it's going in. I'll that. I'll tell that. If you keep me. Because you done already lost the anointing. And if you never had the anointing, you're already in danger of God's judgment. You understand? Because you don't keep fighting a man of God and God don't stand up and do something about it. He's a man. It's called a man of God for a reason.
and every good comes 